Oh boy, it's the Netflix show. Oh my gosh, it's the show that's on Netflix. Oh my gosh. That's right, fellas, we're doing Castlevania 3 today. And Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse is actually a hundred years before Simon, which is Trevor Belmont. That's right, the very same. During the 15th century Europe, there lived a person named Dracula. He practiced sorcery in order to create a bad world filled with evil. This was a game made for children, huh? <laughs> Anyways. He began taking over the continent of Europe, changing countries from good to bad. The good people of Europe tried to fight off Dracula, but no one was able to survive. Ah, how terrible for Europe. Good thing I don't live there. Finally, the Belmont family was summoned to battle the Dracula's vile forces. The Belmont family has a long history of fighting evil, going back to, I believe, 1094, but that's for a game that I might not actually be able to play, so, you know, maybe we'll get into that much. Anyways, the townspeople became afraid of the Belmont's superhuman power and asked them to leave the country. Fortunately, the people found a mighty Belmont called Trevor. Trevor. That's right. There are no more heroes, only Belmonts. That... I didn't need to say that. The curse of Dracula has begun. The fate of Europe lies with Trevor Belmont. Trevor Belmont, the main character of Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse, as well as the Castlevania Netflix series on Netflix called Castlevania. Ah, alright. Yeah, let's actually start the game now. Does it opening? It's not gonna make me okay. Oh boy! You know what? Okay. Hold the phone. What the hell? Trevor. <laughs> How oh great. Okay, that okay. I wasn't expecting what I got there. I think the controls might be in reversed. Right, because this was on Nintendo. Okay. I pressed B instead of A and now I'm doing stupid crap. Anyways, here's hoping this doesn't look too terribly familiar for those of you that watched my original Castlevania series. <laughs> it is... I'm not gonna lie, the first time I played this, I actually thought it was just a remake of Castlevania. I didn't think too hard about how that wouldn't really make any sense because, like, it came out on the same system. But the first level is, in fact, pretty well the same. And I don't, I don't even mind it being dang similar because, I mean, as much as I, I, I do like Simon's Quest, I, I am a Simon's Quest fan, but, you know, it, it has its rough edges. I'm not the biggest Simon's Quest fan in existence, I'm sure, and I'm going to increasingly appreciate the fact that I don't really have to worry about, like, uh, certain things. So, yeah. Also, all those fun, epic characters you love from the TV series show do in fact make an appearance. So keep, you know, keep on. Now, not all of them, actually, but that depends on how many times I play through the game. And I don't know if I'm going to really go for multiple endings. I didn't do that in um, Castlevania 2, so I may as well continue on in my not going for multiple endings, you know, because I don't know how much I really care about multiple endings, but it's, it's, it's different for this one because it's, instead of it being a timing thing, it's about, like, where you go in the game, so I might, I might actually do it just for the sake of actually getting through all the levels, and then do something of, like, what I did for, um, Spectre of Torment where I just name the episodes are based on which level. Shouldn't this... okay. I felt like... I feel like that's a fall-through kind of platform, you know? There we go, perfect. I definitely needed to do that. I don't know, I'm still of the possibly nasty habit of just wanting to break every single... I think what it is is that if I, like, take damage or if I land on them. Right! Okay. That's super epic. Alright, I'm definitely gonna... Oh my gosh. Okay. 
definitely going to want to use that whenever possible. Excuse me, Medusa. Go heck yourself. Okay. Very nice. Uh -huh. I'm going to get out of here real quick. I'm already down to half health, and I do not like that. And I'm not using a map this time. I kind of know where I would want to go for specific other fun and epic playable characters. But, you know, I might just not worry too hard about that. Because I don't know what I'm doing regardless. Uh-huh. Oh ho! Nice. I love the locket. At least I'm assuming that's what it is. Also, I... I, I don't know if this is really going to end up being like a one episode, one one level, one episode kind of deal, you know? I, I would feel a little bit bad for that, sort of, but I mean, it might just happen anyways. Yes! Oh, chicken! I love chicken. Um, I think I mentioned this before. <laughs> I, I think I've mentioned loving chicken before. Okay, good. That thing is stupid. Okay. I'm stupid. I'm the stupid one. No. I think he's gonna jump this way now. Come on. There we go. Stupid. I'm not gonna let you get the chance. Oh, great. I don't have any way of defending against that, actually. Because I couldn't, as you can see, I couldn't duck under them. Great. Alright, well, hopefully that doesn't happen too often. Hmm. Boink. Yeah, fun little epilepsy warning right there. Um, except I didn't warn you, so never mind. Uh huh. Oh jeez. Oh, who could have seen that coming? The zombies are coming out of the graves. Not cool, dude. I wasn't expecting that at all. Oh boy. Okay. Um, since I'm at four health. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, save the game here, because this seems like it might possibly be the kind of deal where... Oh, hey, look. A raw deal, if you would. Bleh. Oh, actually, this guy's super easy. Boink, got him. Lol, get wrecked. Skeleton soldier. Ah ha 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 ha. Very nice. We did it, guys. We beat level one of Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse, a.k.a. Castlevania, the epic Netflix television show. And we actually get a map this time. We get to actually choose where we're going. Isn't that something? And, it, and actually, like, the way you choose where you're going is actually pretty cool. Uh-huh. Okay, I don't know about bottom. Let's, let's go top. That has a skull. That means it's good, I think. Maybe. Yeah, let's go to the top, why not? But we're gonna maybe worry about this more on the next episode. Actually, hold on. I shouldn't have done that right then. I could have done like a... Yeah, I maybe would have... Whatever. We'll see if I do different timelines later, like I did with Cave Story. We'll see. For now, though, like, comment, and subscribe, or you're getting whipped. You're getting whipped. This isn't even a whip, it's a morning star at this point. So you know it's gonna hurt. It's a flail. That thing's a... It's a flail. Yeah. Till then! Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.